hey guys welcome back to my channel in the previous videos we have seen how to work with Google Sheets in that we have seen how to add a sheet how to create a new spreadsheet in a Google Drive and along with that how to write the data and how to write uh, data tables into a Google spreadsheet in this video I am going to show you how to add or delete columns and rows in an existing spreadsheet okay so here we have created a spreadsheet with the name as sheet one if you notice on my screen so this is the sheet and here we have the ID so for this sheet I am going to perform the activities of uh, add new rows delete new rows and add columns and delete columns activity okay so for begin this activities so first we need to create a sequence so here in my UI path I have already created a new sequence with the name as add row add columns and here I configured my zsuit application scope with the uh, with client ID and client secret so now what we need to do is so for accessing this activity first we need to copy the sheet ID from the URL of the Google sheet so here as we already discussed so this is the sheet ID that is for this test spreadsheet okay so now here if you go to the activities click on activities and search for add and here you can see inside the sheets here you can see the activities add delete columns add delete rows these two are helpful to add or delete the columns or add or delete the rows so first we'll begin with this add or delete columns just drag and drop into the designer panel so here if you in see the inputs for this add delete columns so first one is nothing but the spreadsheet ID so spreadsheet ID is nothing but the ID which we copied from this URL of for this test spreadsheet okay so here I am providing the ID inside the double quotes in this fixed field and next thing is nothing but the sheet name so this sheet name you can get from the spreadsheet so in which sheet you want to update the columns or delete the rows so here you can get the information so I have data only on my sheet one so I will perform the operations on my sheet one so I am not changing this sheet name and the next fields are nothing but the column position and column letter so these two are nothing but the positions on the sheet where you want to input the columns or delete the columns so first we'll see about this column position suppose if I want to insert the column in between this A and B columns so here this one is my first position second position third position so I want to insert a column in the second position so I'm just providing the second position and the number of items I want to add so this will give the number of columns that is going to be added in the Google sheet so here for time being I will just add one okay so number of items I am updating as one and here in the properties panel here we have one more thing that is nothing but inside the options that is change mode so it has two options insert or delete so insert is nothing but adding the columns okay so and delete is nothing but the deletion of columns so first we will add this option will perform the add operation and then we'll see the delete operation okay so let's run this now so execution is started and I will open the tab so the execution is completed now so here you can see a new column is inserted in between A and B why because so here we have mentioned the position as 2 so previously the serial number and student name are in A and B columns so now the column is inserted at position 2 ok so let's change this with the column letter so this time I will provide C and here I will increase this to 2 okay so let's see what will happen so this time this student name will be shifted to two steps towards right side and two new columns will be inserted after P okay so I will debug this now
so now you can see the columns C and D are newly created by making the student name column move towards right side okay so this is the operation of insert using the add delete columns okay in the same way if you want to perform the deletion operation so for suppose I need to delete the columns of C and D or else from B okay so just in the same way of insertion I need to provide the column letter and the number of columns I want to delete so three so these new columns I don't want to use so this time I am just using this as three from the column letter B okay so this time I am changing the change mode to delete okay so let's run this and we'll check the deletion operation on this Google spreadsheet so you can see the three columns which we created earlier were deleted with the help of this add delete columns activity okay so let's verify the delete add delete rows activity as well so I will just delete this activity so here in the same way we have one more activity called add delete rows so in the same processing uh, session of Google Sheets okay just drag and drop into your designer panel here also the inputs are very similar but here we can't provide the column names column we have we don't have a privilege to give the column rows okay so here we need to just mention the row positions okay for in which position we need to add the row okay so here the first input is nothing but the sheet id and the sheet name okay i am just using the sheet 1 of the test spreadsheet and here in the row position in which position you want to insert the rows suppose this third position it is nothing but 1 2 3 this is the third row here I want to insert the rows so first I will give as 3 and then the number of items so let's insert a row and then here this change mode will be insert okay so these inputs are enough to add the extra rows to my Google spreadsheet okay so I will debug this now you can see a new row is inserted in between the 2 and 4 it means from in between the Leo and Richard a new row is generated okay in the same way we'll try to perform one more time so this time I will add 5 in the position 3 okay so let's check now so these operations are just helpful to insert the dummy rows so it is not helpful for inserting the data inside an existing data table or an existing spreadsheet okay so now you can see these five rows are added to my Google sheet okay by pushing the reset and we know downward okay so we'll see the delete operation as well okay so just you need to change the mode to delete and this time I will just delete all these six rows now right one two three four five and six so I will just change this five to six and the position will be same as three okay from third to eight I am going to delete my data if suppose if you have data on a particular column suppose if I have given the number of items as 7 means the data which is available in the 7th row also will be erased as it is in the mode of delete okay so the operation is performed so now you can see the data of Richard and Veno is shifted upwards to their previous positions okay. like this uh, we need to use this add delete rows and add delete columns to insert a new column or a new row in between an existing data of a Google Sheet that's all for now I hope you like this video if you like the video please do like and subscribe to our channel and if you have any queries please mention in the comment section on this video thank you